This is the East Cliff Shopping Center in Live Oak. And this phone booth is where a man called about 8.30 Thursday morning a bomb threat into the PG&E Service Center on 7th Avenue in Live Oak. And deputies are now investigating the scene. They've secured the phone booth for as a crime scene. The man also threatened to shoot people as they exited the large campus on 7th Avenue. My understanding of the phone call was there was a bomb threat made, so they were targeting the PG&E plant, uh, saying that there was either a bomb here or they were going to blow up the plant, as well as come out here uh, and potentially shoot uh, employees that were on scene. Doing an immediate evacuation of the facility to ensure that no employees or citizens that are nearby are in harm this way. And then what they do is they work with the uh, folks here at PG&E to basically search the entire uh, facility here to ensure that there's nothing out of the ordinary or some or nothing that's suspicious to the people who work here every day. Patrol personnel showed up here. They uh, met with PG&E personnel. They immediately evacuated between 50 to 60 employees. Uh, once that was done, then they started working with the PG&E uh, employees here to, to render the plant safe. Right now what we're trying to do is work with PG&E to, to actually get a hold of that phone call if they still have it and listen to the phone call directly to see exactly what was said. Uh, I don't know if in fact it was it was a uh, smart meter based frustration, uh, anger, something to do with uh, smart meters, or if it was it was uh, what the content of the phone call is. We'll have deputies respond there, secure the location. Uh, they will then uh, work with our CSI people to take uh, fingerprints if necessary, you know if possible, and then interview people in the area, contact stores in the area to look for video to basically identify who was on the phone at a specific time. How did you guess? You know, um, I think if I think if I was to see him and hear his voice with the with the, uh, the recording, it would be pretty good. But to just if I saw him walking down the street, he was wearing different clothes. Nah, I don't know. 